Hi, I'm Thomas Ault. I'm out at the Southwest Purdue Ag Center to meet with Valerie Klingerman, Purdue Extension Ag and Natural Resources Educator in Knox County, to talk about weeds and their management. Today, we'll be taking a look at the mallow family, including velvet leaf and prickly cyta. We're going to start discussing um, weeds in the mallow family that are common in Indiana, and I have two with me today. One is velvet leaf. Velvet leaf is an unbranching weed, and it's notorious for these heart-shaped leaves that are very big, and they're kind of a velvety feel because they're very hairy. The next one we have is prickly cyta. You can see prickly cyta branches. Um, it does have prickles where those leaves um, and meet the stem here. So if you grab the plant, it can uh, it kind of hurt. Um, its leaves are kind of this lanceolate shape, and they have these fine tooth teeth along the leaf margins. As I mentioned, these are both in the mallow family, so they have yellow flowers when they bloom, um, and their seed capsules look pretty similar as well. Uh, so as a plant, they look a lot different, but their fruiting structures look very similar. Um, these are both summer annual weeds, so for control purposes, you want to control them before they start setting seed. Um, the velvet leaf can be problematic if you're using chemical control options because um, during the day, a lot of times it will lift this leaf up, but then in the evening hours and early morning hours, it'll drop this leaf, um, which so the chemical control options can s fall off the leaf. Um, if you have these weeds, like in gardens, um, mechanical control with hose uh, or hand weeding um, work well. Uh, and so those are two common mallows in Indiana. Didn't find the weed you were looking for? Check the links below for more Purdue Extension related weed information. Again, I'm Thomas Alt. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button.